So you are using Ecamm interview mode and you've got guests who are coming in and they want to utilize green screen, but there's no options for it. So how do you do that? Let's take a look and see if we can figure out how it all works. So we're here on my desktop now and I'm going to pull up the link to enter the studio as a guest in Ecamm. So you see that on the screen, I'm using my, my webcam, microphone and a camera. Uh, so it's the one right here in front, uh, but you're still seeing me here. So you see everything that's on the screen. Here are all the options. If I click this down arrow, I've got my Ecamm virtual camera, my OBS virtual camera the H, uh, my Logitech C920, which is what I'm using, and then the USB camera, which is a capture card that's connected to this Sony. Um, under microphones, I have all my off microphones, including the loopback microphone and everything like that. So everything is pretty much normal, like as it would be in some of the other platforms, as you have seen. Um, really glad that Ecamm has added this ability for uh, those who are streaming with Ecamm to bring in guests in a more native fashion without having to use NDI or Skype. So really happy for this, but as you can see, not a whole lot of features here. So I'm gonna click join and again, again, not a lot of features here. So I, I'm just showing you some of the options that we have, um, nothing really here. So no, I mean, really not a whole lot of options that, um, some of the other platforms you have, uh, the, 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 the guest has the ability to change their audio settings, uh, echo cancellation, several of those kinds of things. They do have the ability to change their, you know, virtual backgrounds. And to be clear, virtual backgrounds are very popular. And so some of you may be thinking like me, man, there's no way to really accommodate this in this platform. Uh, but I'm so glad that I have a friend who is willing to jump in here with me and he's going to, he has a green screen already set up and I'm going to show you how we can set up green screens for our guests in Ecamm. Let's dive in. So now my good friend, Chris Bartley has called in. Um, I'm going to switch so you can see my full screen. So now you're seeing the full screen and you can see Chris Bartley is here on the side here. So go ahead and wave to him, Chris. <laughs> um, so as you can see, he's on a green screen. So what we what we want to do is uh, figure out, I mean, how do we do that now? So here, I'm going to bring him on screen with me uh, in this split screen. So here we are both on split screen and actually I want you to see his full video instead of it being cropped. So I'm going to turn off the crop like that. And there you go. So now the two of us are on screen. It's just basic scene in Ecamm, not really doing whole, anything special. So now what I got to do is actually pull up camera effects. So this, this guy right here where my mouse is hovering over and you can see camera effects comes up. So what I do here now is turn on this green screen option so you can see that that immediately grabs one of the green screens that are in uh, the system, which looks really good. But he has a green screen that he uh, uses, so he sent me this. Uh, so here's here's one of them. Let me just make sure that this is the right one. That's the one. And click there and boom. And you can adjust the fade level um and at somewhere right around that 81 mark i'm going to come back down some 70 anywhere in the 70s going up toward 80 that's good so um he's going to give a wave and some other stuff just for you to see what that looks like on camera um but you can see that this is this is how you would do that on this side now what i want you to know is um in Ecamm, you have to do this per scene. So here, everything is set for him 
um, camera effects. I choose his his camera here. Um, he's actually set to guess three. So I'm going to go to this next scene. Um, or better yet, I'm going to build a new scene. So here, I'm just going to select uh, camera overlay. That's pulling from my other camera. Um, grab that one. Put that up here. Something like that. I'm going to grab uh, another camera overlay. And uh, grab... He is in guest three. So I'll grab guest three. And you'll see, like, he's... It's not, you, you, you can see that it's not, um, nothing has been keyed out here because in this scene, uh, we actually have to go back through and do it again. So you click the green screen. Um, let me cancel that. You, you see, I'm, I'm making these mistakes on camera because I want you to see. So I actually need to go in and select his video and then select green screen and then grab uh, the file that we want to use. Just testing again to make sure that that's the one and that is so I'm clicking open and uh, sometime boom there we go and so again with these custom uh, custom overlays I can make his video any size I want to uh, on camera uh, so that's that's one of the manual ways of doing that so I wanted you to see that um, just by creating a new scene uh, but also here, if I go to one of the scenes that I have created, and so this is this is a standard scene that I have created uh, for my show, and this actually has his lower third on there. So all I got to do is go over to the uh, guest camera here, the camera overlay, and select and change that from guest one to guest three, and then he shows up, and because I already set this up for him um, in the, prior to us uh, recording this, you can see that it has pulled in his green screen settings. So it saves it per scene. So that's a good thing. But every scene that you create, if you have a guest that wants to use a, a, a green screen background, virtual background, you will have to actually go through and set that up for them. So there it is. <laughs> not, a, not a whole lot today. Um, very quick and simple and easy for a lot of you you may have already figured out some of that stuff but i hope it is helpful for those that did not figure it out um who have guests who are kind of just searching through and you didn't really kind of realize oh i have the ability to completely change uh things for my guests and, and in fact uh those camera effects that you see there are able to make multiple changes so it's not just a green screen you can zoom in you can pan you can color correct you can do all man all the things that you would do on any camera uh, for yourself you have that same ability to do that for your guests as they come into interview mode it's just selecting that camera from the drop down and making the changes that you want to see on screen for your for your show and for your interview or for whatever else but yes it is possible to have guests come into your live stream and have them use a green screen. All right. So it's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, uh, hoping that we got you a little closer to figuring out <laughs> how it all works. Um, I'm saying it like that because I, I've been saying this day in and day out for the Vlogmas Challenge, and it feels like it just rolls off the tongue. So I hope that you got value from this video. This is one of our regular videos uh, dealing with live streaming tips, tricks, tools, platforms, uh, tutorials, how to's. Um, and we do these every at least once a weekend. We drop a video that kind of shares with folks something that we've learned um, and something that we think would be useful that folks would really want to know about. So happy to share. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, by all means, leave them in the comments. If you have not noticed, I respond to every comment, uh, even if it's just to say a word of thanks. But I really do appreciate uh, this is our first video uh, that we're putting out on the channel since we have passed the 4000 watch hours, which means we've met both criteria to monetize. We've applied and we've been successfully added to the YouTube partner program. So we're excited uh, to continue pushing content and we're excited to continue pushing in this space. We hope that you continue to grow with us, that if you have not subscribed already, you would subscribe. Um, if there are other videos that you want to see, let us know in the comments. But by all means, we ask that you would, you know, 
binge watch some of the other videos that we have because we really feel like we have put out uh, a good amount of videos that really help you to acclimate to some of these live streaming platforms and to really help you take your stream to the next level. So without any more bantering, uh, I'm going to sign out, but I hope to see you real soon in another video. Later.